Tonight, on a special edition of Daytime Men, Let's Leave, we delve into the dark underbelly of the shipping industry. Behind the whistles and the jolly tunes lies a tale of unlicensed contraband, horrific labor conditions, and a shocking case of animal and human exploitation. Little Willie the Rat, a charming steamboat captain of the mastermind behind a sinister smuggling ring. Our investigation reveals troubling evidence. This encounter captured in grainy footage may appear comical to the untrained eye. But as the situation aboard escalates, it's crucial to remember that this isn't the first time Little Willie has been reprimanded by Captain Pete. Just weeks prior, our investigation uncovered that Pete had sternly warned Little Willie against impersonating an officer and tampering with the controls of the vessel. Little Willie's nimble escape from Captain Pete's wrath is more than mere slapstick. This act of insolence may seem trivial, but in the high-stakes world of riverboat smuggling, it's a dangerous game of cat and mouse. In an ironic twist of fate, Captain Pete's aggressive attempts to maintain order have repeatedly backfired, resulting in a series of self-inflicted injuries. As a direct consequence of these injuries, Captain Pete has turned to a highly addictive form of medical-grade Pakistani hash, a desperate measure to cope with the chronic pain and still maintain his fearsome demeanor. However, this remedy comes with its own set of harrowing side effects. Captain Pete's behavior has become increasingly erratic, marked by severe mood swings that send waves of unease across the deck. As the steamboat approaches the exotic Chinese wet market of Podunk Landing, a place riddled with controversy and questionable ethics. Here in this notorious black market hub, which is often linked to shadowy dealings, a new chapter in this sordid saga unfolds. The scene at Podunk Landing is one of barely controlled chaos. Amidst the hustle, Little Willie, the de facto operative, is tasked with a critical yet dubious role. His objective, load these unvetted animals onto the boat. A blatant disregard for both safety and legality. The handling of these animals is far from humane or ethical. In one particularly distressing instance, Little Willie encounters a slimmer cow that proves difficult to load due to ill-fitting harnesses. His solution, however, crosses into outright animal abuse. Amidst the backdrop of unlawful activities aboard the steamboat, a particularly heart-wrenching story unfolds. Missy Mouse, far from being just a whimsical character, is revealed as an impoverished refugee, desperately fleeing the clutches of an oppressive regime. Her vulnerability, however, makes her a prime target in a much darker scheme. Our investigation leads us to a chilling discovery. Little Willie, a key player in a sinister network, one that preys on the desperation of refugees like Missy for human trafficking. As our cameras capture, a seemingly trained goat, an unwitting accomplice in this web of deceit, methodically shreds Missy's passport and crucial documents. These papers are not mere formalities. They are her lifeline, her identity, her chance at a new beginning in a land free from oppression. The loss is immeasurable. Without these documents, Missy is rendered invisible, a non-entity vulnerable to further exploitation. Little Willie's jovial demeanor masks a calculating and ruthless intent. As Missy boards, seeking refuge and a semblance of safety, she remains tragically unaware of the true nature of her situation. To the untrained eye, her interaction with Little Willie might appear innocuous, even endearing. But beneath this facade lies a grim reality. Missy, in her search for freedom, has unwittingly walked into a trap. Little Willie's involvement in this human trafficking ring is a stark reminder of the pervasive reach of such criminal networks. Exploiting the most vulnerable under the guise of offering assistance, they operate with a callous disregard for human life. The plight of individuals like Missy, caught in the crosshairs of geopolitical strife and exploitation, raises urgent questions 
above the shadowy dealings that occur in plain sight on routes like these. As the steamboat continues its sinister journey, a disturbing scene unfolds on deck, one that epitomizes the blatant disregard for the sanctity of life aboard this cursed vessel. Little Willie, under the guise of entertainment, orchestrates a macabre performance that belies a deeper, more malevolent reality. Each animal coerced into a role far removed from their natural existence becomes an unwilling participant in this grotesque spectacle. Little Willie, seemingly oblivious to the ethical quandary, manipulates these creatures as though they were mere objects designed for his amusement. As the music plays, a sinister symphony. Each note resonates with the pain and fear of these exploited beings. Their cries masked by the tune's jovial facade are a morbid melody of cruelty and despair. This spectacle, while outwardly whimsical, is a stark reminder of the ease with which the powerful exploit the voiceless for their own gain. As the grim tableau aboard the steamboat unfolds, a moment of reckoning looms. Captain Pete, the authoritarian overseer of this dubious enterprise, stumbles upon Little Willie's grotesque manipulation of the animals. Captain Pete, already burdened by his own questionable leadership and addictions, as the crew and the abused animals look on, a sense of unease permeates the air. This incident, far from being an isolated event, is a symptom of a deeply ingrained culture of exploitation and moral ambiguity. The boat continues its journey, a journey marked by cruelty and the loss of innocence in the face of unbridled power.